hate that song. Welcome to Good Camp Hunting guys, it's been a while. Today I'm going to be checking out the Silver Fox Whistle. Today's review is going to be done just a little bit backwards. I'm going to start with a little bit of whistling and while I'm trying to get a fox in, I'm going to show you what has been the last 12 months of my life using the Silver Fox Whistle. I've also got my DJI Mavic Pro drone out here with me which I'm going to send up to keep an aerial view uh, over where I'm whistling just in case something tries to sneak up behind me. But for now, just sit back and enjoy these next couple of minutes of footage that I've collected over the last 12 months while I try to whistle in one last fox for this review. I'll see you soon. Bear with me a second, there was some shit on the camera lens. Still a little bit of shit. Field test one with the Silver Fox whistle. That very tall gum tree in the middle of the screen there is where I'm heading. It's where we've come across a number of foxes in the past on this property. I'm guessing that's probably the best place to start for my first field test with the Silver Fox whistle. The point of this too is I want to see how close I can get the fox to come into me. Let's just see how we go. I wish I got it on camera. Just here, I've turned around and there was a fox right here. Because I've taken a shot at him, I don't know if he's gonna come back. I'm gonna go for a bit more of a hunt while I'm out here. I'll see you again for field test two. Here we are for field test two. It is currently 5.55 a.m. It is cold. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared to get out of the car. <laughs> I need to get a four by four. Look, it's a legendary Takaloshi. Field test two hasn't been unsuccessful, I'm gonna say it's been inconclusive. Simply because it did call that dog out, stay tuned and I'll see for field test three. All right guys, so I'm out for field test three. Now this is a new property to me, I've never been out here before. I'm just gonna get straight into it and start whistling because I'm losing daylight. It's not looking good guys, I haven't seen a damn thing uh, since the wombat we came across. Welcome back guys, I've just wrapped up 30 minutes of fox whistling and unfortunately this time I've been unsuccessful. Not the way I wanted to wrap up this review, but that's just the way life is. As you've just seen, I've had these whistles for about 12 months now. Uh, I've had some overwhelming success with them and at the same time I've also been very unsuccessful with them. There are a few important key things that I've learned over the last 12 months to take into consideration when trying to whistle up a fox uh, from the time of the year, time of the day, location, even right down to what you're wearing. One thing I learned from Ron, the silver fox himself, was don't wear black out in the bush because you'll stand out like a pair of dog's balls. Exhibit A. Oh, aren't they cute? 
So the Silver Fox Whistle is what I would say to be an improvement on the traditional Tenerfield style Fox Whistle. It's made up of stainless steel and has a hole punched right through it at the right size and the right location to give that clean raspy sound that the foxes just can't seem to get enough of. So how does it work exactly? So you want to put your tongue on the back of the whistle and then slide it into your mouth. Right there. Once you've made that connection and the whistle's in your mouth, all you have to do is blow. You might not get it at first, but with a little bit of time, commitment and practice, you'll get it in no time. Not only does the Silver Fox Whistle come in its standard size here, but it also comes as the Silver Fox Whistle Mini, which fits great on your keyring and it punches out just as much sound as the traditional Silver Fox Whistle. Silver Fox. Mini Fox. That's pretty much it for the Silver Fox Whistle, guys. Does it work? Yes, it works. And when it works, it works bloody well. If you'd like to get your hands on a Silver Fox Whistle, I've posted a link in the video description where you can buy them online. Otherwise, you'll probably find most of your local hunting stores will have them in stock. As for me, guys, I'm not about to call it a day just yet. I'm going to go for a bit of a walk, have one more whistle, and hopefully I can't call in a fox. If I do, I'll be sure to post it on the end of this video. Uh, for now, thanks for watching Good Cam Hunting, and you'll see me again soon. Cheers.